Eat Lead, The Return of Eden Hazard. Eat Lead, The Return of Matt Hazard, developed by Vicious Cycle Software and published by D3 Publisher, is a third-person shooter game. The narrative follows Matt Hazard, a well-known gaming celebrity in a reality where video game characters live outside of their games, but only in the digital ether. Matt used to be a big shot, but he quickly faded away when he started naming kart racers after himself. Hazard's phony return to the gaming field is shown in The Return of Matt Hazard. Hazard is played by Will Arnett, while Neil Patrick Harris plays his arch nemesis Wallace Wally Wellesley. The game is a parody of popular action game cliches. The game was released in the United States in February 2009, while in Australia it was released in March 2009. The game concept is refreshing where it mocks other games and characters where they are portrayed as a part of the same industry. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you liked our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Redemption of Hazard and the Gaming Experience We come across Matt Hazard, a stalwart in the gaming industry who is planning a comeback after ruining his reputation by associating himself with kid-friendly games. In the first level of the game, staged in the Japanese steakhouse, Matt comes across Sony Tag, whom he defeats without breaking a sweat. Then he is introduced to Sting Sniperscope, a caricature of Arnold Schwarzenegger, who tries to kill him. But midway, a voice named Kiwe informs him that his saves have been removed, prompting her to pause the game to restore it. She asks him to finish off Sniperscope, who had caused this issue, to replace Matt. Matt also learns that he was supposed to die. But with Sniperscope gone, he has to finish the game instead. In the second level, Matt finds himself in a nightclub where his colleagues from his previous endeavors are also hacked into the game, assessing one of Matt's acquaintances as the owner who flees the level. The level is transformed into a Soviet missile base where he overcomes his Russian adversary. It is also revealed that Wallace Wellesley, the CEO of Marathon Megasoft, is behind the staged comeback of Matt. He hates Matt as he had a difficult time with his game as a kid. Wellesley created the game due to Matt's contract with the gaming firm, stating that he cannot resign or be fired until killed. Matt has to save a friend with a mounted sniper rifle in the third level, but encounters an enemy from his old games equipped with water guns. Matt saves his friend after dealing with a new version of Sniper Scope. Wellesley tries to lure him by introducing one of Matt's friends. Matt encounters zombies at his partner Dexter's mansion. Matt tries to tell him about Wellesley's intention when he learns that Dexter is working with him because he has been promised a lead role in one of the games. Matt saves Dexter after one of the female androids that Dexter had sent to kill Matt turned on him. Matt is ultimately saved by Kiwe, who is acting a little strange. Matt finds himself fighting with space marines on a cruiser while saving MasterChef. At the end of the level, he gets rid of Kiwe's evil twin, who was constantly directing him towards ambushes and was trying to sabotage him. After defeating the next boss with giant tentacles, he proceeds to the next level, where he finds Altus Stratus in a warehouse storing video game items. Enemies sent by Wellesley steal all the things to be used in the final of the Sniper Scope game. Matt and Kiwe think finishing the final level would end the game, only if Wellesley allows it. After killing Sniper Scope for the third time on the dock, which marks the false ending of the game, Matt is transported to the virtual headquarters of Marathon Megasoft, where he makes his way to the top floor and encounters Wellesley killing Kiwe. Matt ultimately defeats him with the help of Dexter. After Wally's defeat, the company is run by Quentin A. Myers. Myers, an integral part of Hazard's early work, plans on relaunching a few of Matt's earlier works. Meanwhile, we come across Wellesley, who runs a game shop and still holds a grudge towards Matt. Eat Lead is a third-person shooter with combat emphasizing a duck-and-cover system employing walls and other objects in the game's environment, similar to Gears of War. 
instead of moving manually, Matt may aim and automatically sprint towards another item of cover when in cover. Much of the landscape only serves as a temporary cover because it will malfunction and be edited out of the game. After a certain degree of damage, creating a tear in the level due to the frequent modification of the game's surroundings and level switching. The gamer may use weapon upgrades for momentary effects such as shots that can freeze enemies as the game continues. The player can utilize these improvements again after a meter is filled by beating several enemies. If you get near enough to an adversary, you can perform a series of close combat strikes. Some boss fights may trigger an interactive cinematic section in which Matt must evade and counter boss assaults using a quick time event system that requires particular buttons to be clicked or touched when prompted on screen. The game received a variety of reviews upon its release. It Let's Cast got a nomination for Best Cast in the 2009 Spike Video Game Awards and received Best Comedy Game. Marvelous Verdict Eat Lead isn't bad, it's just that it's entirely lost and doesn't grasp what it's attempting to be. The gamer may find many parodies in the game's speech, locations and characters. This approach to parodying action games and other genres is immensely aided by Matt Hazard's ability to break the fourth wall. Although amusing observations are made regularly, the real battle is lacking. The game maintains the tried and true premise of walking into a room and defeating everyone to enter through the next door. When Eat Lead is on, the fighting is a lot of fun and it seems like a speedier but gentle version of Gears of War. Overall, the game is fun to play and does offer a good hearty laugh. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone. Finish him! He Ah!